Compositional Analysis in the OmniSec software. Compositional analysis is a method that utilizes data from both a refractive index and a UV detector to determine the concentration of two components within a single sample. By observing the sample's concentration with both refractive index and UV detectors, two equations relating the concentration of each component can be obtained. As long as the DNDC and DADC values of each component are known and different from each other, the concentration of each component can be calculated. This video will demonstrate how to set up a multi-detector compositional analysis method in the OmniSec software. First, to create a multi-detector compositional analysis method, you'll need to analyze a single narrow standard that is UV active. In this example, we'll use BSA. Second, when setting up your sequence, make sure you use the correct sample types for each component within your sample. This will ensure the appropriate DNDC and DADC values are assigned to each component. Please note that typically, the component with the higher DADC value should be listed as component A. Therefore, in this example, protein will be component A and PEO will be component B. If you need to create a new sample type, you can do so by going to Tools, accessing the Sample Type database, and clicking the Add button. Third, open the data for your narrow standard, set limits and baselines, and create a new method. Name the method, select multi-detectors as the calibration type, and check the compositional analysis box. Due to the method requirements of knowing both DNDC and DADC for both components, the only analysis type option available is calculate concentration from sample DNDC or DADC. Choose the appropriate calibration standard from the database or use the add button to input the information for your specific standard. There's no need to change anything on the band broadening section, simply click Save. If you are using BSA, don't forget to complete the second step of the calibration. Your compositional analysis method is now ready for use. Fourth, if you have individual samples of each component, for example, pure protein or pure PEG, analysis of those samples can confirm that your compositional analysis method is working correctly. And fifth, now that you have created and verified your compositional analysis method, simply open the data for your sample, set limits and baselines, and let the OmniSec software get to work. In addition to the weight fraction data provided, which indicates the relative concentration of each component within a given sample peak, a visual representation of these numbers is available. In the derived data window, you can overlay concentration of A and concentration of B to produce a plot of these individual concentrations throughout the sample's distribution. The report designer has also been updated to include additional compositional results for specific applications. Related to the analysis of AAVs, full, empty, and total AAV titer values are available, along with percent full AAV and CPVG ratio. Additionally, for those working with ADCs, the drug to antibody ratio is also available to report. To recap, to perform a compositional analysis, you'll need at least a refractive index and a UV detector, a narrow standard that is UV active, samples consisting of two components, and the DNDC and DADC values for each sample component. And with that, you're all set. Please contact us with any questions you may have regarding compositional analysis. Thank you.